A new Google Glass app allows users to identify the people around them just by looking at them. Users can see other people's, they can find out their names, find out their occupation, their age, and all other kinds of personal information. You just look at them and up pops this information right in front of you. Now, does that raise privacy concerns? Here's the privacy <laughs> man himself, Judge Andrew Napolitano. Are you worried by this? Well, I'm curious about it. I would be worried about it if the government were doing it. Remember, the, the Fourth Amendment, which reduces to writing, the guaranteed protections of privacy, protects us against the government. It doesn't protect us against each other. It doesn't protect us against private invasions of privacy. But is this an invasion of privacy? As I understand it, and, and I may be weak in my understanding of the technology, but as I understand it, when this Google thing comes on, let's say I see you in a, in a restaurant and I look at you and all of a sudden your image gets in my, my Google Glass, the Google Glass will send back to me or to my, to my handheld information that you have made available to various social media outlets. It's not going to give me something that you have kept secret. It's only going to give me that which you have chosen to reveal yeah. through other social media outlets. So the, the lesson here is not this is an invasion of privacy. The lesson is somebody can gather what you have already made public and acquire it instantaneously. Yeah, well, and they can acquire it without even typing in your name. They can acquire it because of, uh, of facial recognition software. So Google's harnessing two things here. First of all, facial recognition. Right. I mean, it's which is, which scanning is extraordinary your face. when you think about it. Oh, it is absolutely extraordinary. It's scanning your face and says, I know this guy, Judge Napolitano. Right. Then, instantly, instantly, it's using its massive computing power to find out everything that's been written about you yes. on social media. Or, networks or, or that I have voluntarily revealed like now, like when I'm on Fox, or like when I put things on the various social media places where I put things, uh, the Facebook and, and Twitter. But supposing stuff but it's, appears... It's not going to show a picture of my bedroom No, 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 no. Home. But supposing it puts up stuff there that I've not put on a social network, like if I've got a criminal record, for example, that might pop up. It would be hard to believe that they could put up something there that doesn't already exist somewhere else. Now, they may be capturing something that someone else put up and invaded privacy, but the, the, the original criminal is the original invader. It's not the person who posted it, if you follow me. That right? happens all the time on Facebook, that people you're friends with post pictures of you from grammar school or high school. Also, this is coming off of the company Nametag. Nametag is a company that developed this app that you basically uploads immediately into the Glass <laughs> application, uh, you know, pictures. And also, it will upload, it could upload what people put up on their dating website. In other words, their Match.com or other OkCupid websites. So their dating profiles as well could be Oof. uploaded into the Glass. If the government did this, it would run afoul of basic Fourth Amendment principles, which, which basically say for the government to start an investigation, it needs evidence of well, some wrong. I've got to stop you. I've got to stop you right there. Supposing a police officer wears these, this Google right. Glass. Not permitted. Not permitted by the, uh, by the Fourth Amendment. He, really? he cannot begin downloading information about you without what's called articulable suspicion. Some, some, something he can say as to why your behavior is suspicious and he's got to commence an investigation. He can't do it willy-nilly because of your but angelic smile. he's not really smile. investigating you. He's just, he's, he, he, he looks at you. He is. He is is, is that is. an investigation? He looks at you? Well, yes, if by the act of looking at you is going to cause government computers to download all the information they can acquire about you, that's the commencement of an investigation, he can only do so with articulable suspicion. Boy, the tort bar is going to have a field day with Wouldn't it one. be a... Yeah, you're right. I mean, the tort bar is having a field day. Wouldn't it be an advantage, though, for a cop uh, to, to look at somebody? Uh, well, from the, gotcha. from the cop's point of view, yes, but the cop has taken an oath to uphold the Constitution, which includes the Fourth Amendment. He's getting all riled up again. They don't have, <laughs> this, fourth, <laughs> they don't have this Fourth Amendment in Britain. Oh, stop it. They don't even have a Constitution in Britain. There's, there's a couple he's, of guys over He's right, Philip, <laughs> he's right. That's a my of, imitation of the Queen. Yes, yes. There's a couple of Brits <laughs> over there. They've got the 3D printer, okay? They're listening to this. <laughs>